In a unanimous vote, the committee said they will investigate whether Santos broke any laws during his 22 uh, 2022 campaign, as well as his financial disclosure forms in the House and allegations of sexual misconduct that Santos denies. Santos's office says he is fully cooperating with the House Ethics Committee. And joining me now is the Republican Congressman Anthony uh, Desposito, who represents a neighboring district to Santos, wants him expelled from Congress. Congressman, I appreciate your time. You're also, of course, proposing to block Santos from making money uh, with future books or speeches. I'm going to ask you about that in a moment. But first, how does this ethics probe move the ball forward here? Well, I think, first of all, we need to focus on the fact that uh, Leader McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy, uh, has uh, been a man of his word. He has spoken to the New York delegation and those of us who have been super critical of George Santos. And he said that uh, there would be an, an ethics investigation. It would be swift. It would be comprehensive. And that's exactly what we have uh, begun to see yesterday. And I'm looking forward to the results. Uh, listen, uh, I spent a year, uh, my life in law enforcement, uh, years in law enforcement. I think, um, you know, I, I don't need all that law enforcement experience to know uh, exactly where this ethics investigation is going to end. You said it's been swift. It has been two months just to launch this investigation. Are you satisfied by that timetable? Your party in particular has been whacked left and right by stories where George Santos, in effect, has been a representative of the party and he's just been tarred by scandal after scandal. Uh, I am. I mean, listen, you know, we, we uh, obviously had a, an interesting first week uh, when we were doing our, our speaker elections. Um, you know, recently we were assigned to committees. So I think it's moved as fast as it, as it possibly can. I think the leadership has been um, very understanding and, and had an open line of communication between us New Yorkers who have, again, been extremely vocal. Um, we have uh, I was the first member of Congress to call for his resignation, along with every other elected Republican official in Nassau County. Uh, and I believe all the other freshmen um, in New York uh, have also called for his resignation. We have legislation, which you uh, referred to at the beginning of the, of the, of the show, um, that we're putting forward. It's good. It's a good government agenda. And I'm looking forward to getting support from it from both Republicans and Democrats. I want to drill down on what I started by asking you about, which is this proposal of yours that would block Santos from making money with books or media appearances. I mean, his name is now nationally recognized. This would prevent him from making that money after he leaves office. How would that work? Well, again, I think this is one of those uh, good government initiatives. The fact is, is that uh, we've seen over the last two months that George Santos loves the news. He loves the media. He loves uh, sparking interest in his lies and his deceit uh, and the fact that he has completely duped the American public. Um, you know, we saw it on the night of the, the State of the Union where he needed to sit on the on the aisle so that he can engage with the president of the United States. Uh, this is someone who, as uh, Senator Romney said, uh, he should sort of be, you know, sitting somewhere and, and keeping to himself. Uh, we know that he loves the limelight, and uh, this is a step in the direction to make sure that moving forward, uh, when George Santos decided to write a book or, or pen a book or um, be part of a TV movie or being on Dancing with the Stars, whatever the case may be, he is not going to generate a profit from legitimately duping the American public and making a mockery uh, and, and the stain that he's caused to the institution of the United States Congress. Congressman Anthony Desposito, not mincing words in his views of George Santos. We appreciate your time and your perspective. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good one.